Let's take a look at the latest version of the Super Hornet, the Block 3. Recently, the US Navy accepted deliveries of the first two Block 3 Super Hornets. This latest version enhances the already legendary Super Hornet to be even more survivable and networked in the modern battlefield. So, what does the Super Hornet get in the new Block 3 version? We can divide the upgrades into three major areas. Sensors, Pilot Interface, and Structural. Let's take a look at these categories in more detail. Perhaps the biggest upgrades to the Block 3 spec are in this area. With an upgraded mission computer that is 17 times more powerful than the existing one, at the heart of the Block 3 Super Hornet is the new Distributed Targeting Processor Networked or DTP-N mission computer. This new mission computer has open architecture, can host AI software, and can process massive amounts of data. Feeding battlefield information into the DPT-N is the Tactical Targeting Network Technology or TTNT data link. The TTNT data link will allow for more communications among other Navy ships and aircraft, further enhancing the Super Hornet's battlefield awareness. Additionally, the Block 3 Super Hornet can mount a centerline tank mounted IRST or infrared search track system. The IRST allows for passive detection of stealthy aircraft like the Chinese J-20 or the Russian Su-57. In fact, the IRST has been called a stealth equalizer with detection ranges well over 100 miles. All of the information gathered by the Super Hornet is less useful if the pilot cannot readily interpret it. To accomplish this, the Block 3 Super Hornet makes use of the ACS or Advanced Cockpit System. ACS takes former multiple MFD displays and combines them into one 10 by 19 inch touchscreen display. The singular display brings an iPad-like user interface to the cockpit and is planned for use in both the single seat E models and dual seat F models. This will allow for customizable representations of critical data as it becomes available to the pilot. The Block 3 Super Hornet also incorporates some structural improvements to extend its range, make it harder to detect, and survive longer. Conformal fuel tanks, or CFTs, are used to add 3,500 pounds of fuel, which will not only help extend range, but also increase loiter or patrol times over areas. The pilots who have flown the Block 3 Super Hornet report no noticeable differences in performance and state that they barely knew they were even there. Along with CFTs, upgrades include coatings of stealth enhancing materials and structural enhancements that will reduce the radar cross-section or RCS. A reduction in detectability should allow for the Super Hornet to better survive and thrive in the modern battlefield with ever-increasing peer-level threats. And lastly, structural changes have been incorporated to give the Block 3 Super Hornet an incredible planned service life of 10,000 hours. This will allow the Super Hornets to operate for decades to come and is an incredible accomplishment considering that these aircraft are operated in punishing saltwater naval operations. The initial contract is for 78 new Block 3 Super Hornets and is planned to be completed by 2024. Additionally, all existing Block 2 Super Hornets will be upgraded to the Block 3 standard, giving the Navy a cutting edge force. And, while the new F-35Cs have begun entering Navy service, the Super Hornet is still the backbone of the fleet. With more than 600 examples of Super Hornets and Growlers, the Navy plans to keep them flying for years to come. What do you think? Do these upgrades make the Super Hornet a 4th plus generation fighter? Do they level the playing field? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Stay safe everyone and see you next time.